Okay, we have a new subscription box to share with you. This one is called Try the World. And we're not actually, um, you know, doing like a cooking show, even though it looks like it, but it is primarily food, so that's why we're in the kitchen and we are going to do some taste testing. Okay, so um, I left it in the box, even though I have already unboxed it, just because this packaging is so amazing. I'm like obsessed with it. Just look at the way this box unfolds like a little flower and they pack these things in some magical manner where they just cram a ton of stuff in this beautiful box. Kind of looks like a Tiffany's box. It's a lot like a Tiffany's, right? Okay, so in this they have uh, the card that help, you know, that tells you just a blurb about all the different products that are in there. Plus they give you this booklet and each box is based on a different country. <laughs> And you get a box every two months, and they choose a chef who then chooses all the things that go in your box. And they have this little booklet in here that has recipes and just notes about the culture and music and movies, etc., etc. It's just a fun little booklet. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so inside, this is the Marrakesh box, by the way. This looks like sardines. That's sardines. I that noticed notice you sardines. haven't already opened and tasted the sardines. No, no. <laughs> I was saving those for you, darling. Were you? <laughs> we are eating this. Someone's eating this. <laughs> Jensen, you want some sardines? Yeah. Yeah. I feel that that's cruel and unusual punishment for a child to feed them sardines, so I'm not going to do that. These look good. These look very buttery. And good. I may have opened that box and eaten like half of them. There's just dust at the bottom maybe, of this. Maybe more than half. Okay. So <laughs> these these look good. Uh, puff pastry, pure butter, wheat flour, butter, sugar, and salt. Alright, well you can't you can't go wrong with those ingredients. So maybe I should I have, just ask I didn't you think that I was going to like these, but they're How can you really not like good. Them? No, they're good. They're like crunchy and buttery and sweet and the only problem is at the bottom it's gonna be ninety nine percent. Yeah, they're really flaky, so they do absolutely fall apart. But... They're delicious. They're so good. Okay, you can't go wrong with anything. <laughs> and then we've got let's see, a little culinary argan oil. This is a finishing oil. You know, I'm sure argan oil is all over the place for your skin, your hair. And now for your food. Um, so there's that. This is kefta rub, a Moroccan rub and spice blend. This has cumin, paprika, morita pepper, mint, coriander, cilantro, and cinnamon. Hmm. So um, I actually prepared a little bit of ground turkey because that was the only meat I had on hand. But so I, I just mixed some of the spice blend in here so we can taste it. Now does that have any of the finishing? What is a finishing oil? I don't know. Finishing oil is more for like putting, you know, on your salad or on your meats or whatever, but not like a cooking oil. Like you put it on after. Like it's, it. it's flavorful enough that you don't need to... Oh, it's good. Did you smell that? It's flavorful. It's got a pretty strong scent. It's sort of nutty smelling. So this is just with the... Yeah, with the that's just... Whoa. Is it good? It barely tastes like turkey anymore. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes like kefta rub. Um, well, you really get that cinnamon. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, that's really good. Because I normally don't like turkey that much, and that that really changes the whole the whole thing. That's really good. I like yeah, that I like a that lot. lot. That's. Uh, We're gonna have to put this on some. That's pretty impressive. Chicken or beef or something. I know you don't <clears> like lamb, but. Yeah, I think you know honestly with that on it, that might that might. Be, <laughs> it, it's pretty good. Yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what else did we get? Oh, we got a box of couscous. I love couscous. Uh, so I made the couscous. Here, I decided that we could try the couscous plain. Yeah. And then we're going to try it with this other thing that they sent us. This is couscous sauce. This is raisin and onion. And it's just a simmering sauce. You simmer this and then you add your meat and veg, or meat or veg, and then you serve it over couscous. That's what the direction said. It's gone. How much did I, you I cooked it. Oh, the whole thing. Yeah. Whoa, that's very uh, like sweet. It almost, it almost, uh, it almost smells like a jelly. Oh, let me smell. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah. Cool. I'm a little nervous about this one. <laughs> okay, so let's try the couscous on its own. Just Raisins plain in. couscous. It looks like a good couscous. I haven't we run through the world's reserves of couscous yet? Yeah, it's just couscous. Mm. There's nothing super fancy right, about this. Right, I'm gonna try it anyway because it's couscous. Mmm. Mm. So again, with the ground turkey. <laughs> the ground turkey will save it, and the spices will save it. This is the stuff like at the salad bar at Sizzler. It used to be what they used to put like kale around everything, right? And then everyone's like, oh wait, kale's the most expensive thing on the planet, and then they stop using it as an in-between salad pieces at Sizzler. No, they should just switch to this. They should just 
the couscous everywhere. He has no longer a garnish. I love couscous. It's a great filler. It's a great filler. <laughs> It's, yeah, I mean, nothing you wrong know, with this. You know, I mean, like couscous. rice or something. Yeah, this right. couscous is... Let's try this couscous sauce. Whoa, this is, so this is all everything So this is, yeah, this is the simmering sauce with some ground turkey over the couscous. Oh my god, all right, can we throw some sardines in here while we're at it? <laughs> we totally should. I'm going to make you eat this. I literally don't think you are. <laughs> yeah, good, tasty. Yeah. Really? It's good. It's an interesting flavor, you know what I mean? It's kind of sweet, a little cinnamony. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting flavor. But I like it. But it's really oniony. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's raisin and onion. Yeah, if you like onions, that's really good. It's it's like 98% onion. It's onion jelly. It's onion jelly. I'm not getting any raisins in there. It's, it's onion jelly. So, it's fine. I mean, you know, honestly, what this is kind of turning into, this is almost turning into, like, if you compress this, that's meatloaf. Meatloaf? Yeah, it tastes a lot like meatloaf to me. Like, with the, I think it's just the onions and the meat. It's fine. I like good. it. I think I, it's delicious. But to, I mean, that's the thing with me is that it's not quite exotic. Mm. It just kind of comes across as meatloaf, <laughs> like Moroccan meatloaf. However, these spices in and of themselves were great and do taste great. Because I mean, that's what you want with this box. You want exotic. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And couscous to me is just it's, it's everybody always eats couscous. <laughs> yeah. Like if, if you send me kale or couscous, I'm gonna go okay. You know. <laughs> How many times can they print organic? It's true. Our box, Hello right? Fresh box this week had um, two couscous meals. <laughs> it's just a betting for everything else. It's fine, but it, you know. But but what I look for is like why you're paying up thirty three to thirty six bucks a box, depending on how many you get. Right. Is you're looking for exotic. You know? Right. Things that you wouldn't normally just pick up at the grocery store. I don't. I don't think I've ever actually just eaten sardines out of a can. I haven't. I don't think I've. Even I mean, I've eaten, eaten sardines, sardines, but. Ever. No, I guarantee you. Wow, these are big sardines. I thought sardines, sardines were smaller. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> all I can think of is um, the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, you know, when they're talking about, and then everyone realized sardines are really gross. <laughs> all I can think of is Zoidberg trying to. Oh my god, the this is really hard to. I'm afraid I'm going to spill sardine juice everywhere. Yeah, you could not. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. I don't know how to eat this. I mean, how do you eat sardines? Look at that, that's ginormous. It's ginormous. I, I, seriously, I thought sardines were like this big. I thought that they were too, honestly. I don't know, I'll put it in Do you want a bite? Yeah. How about you take a bite of this turkey stuff here? Come on over. Okay, you can add these sardines to sandwiches, salads, or pastas. They are an excellent source of protein, vitamin D, and vitamin B12. Oh, that's just turkey? This is meat. Mm -hmm. just no meat. sauce. You like it? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's tasty, right? Everybody likes the rum. <laughs> Stop staring at me. <laughs> Tastes like tuna. What? It's ridiculous. I'm gonna eat it on crackers. Try it. It's, I was expecting it to be super fishy. It's not. It's, it's really oily tuna. Yeah. But um, no, it's fine. It tastes exactly like tuna. I actually like this better than tuna. So yeah. Okay, uh, so we actually have another box too. We have the Paris what? box. What? So when I signed up, they had a deal going that if you if, you know, you buy one box and then you get the Paris box free. Whoa. So that was our deal. All right, so let's clear all this so stuff let's, out. So let's move Marrakesh out of the way. All right. But now, do you think that that was worth $30? $39. Whoa. It's $39 a box. But if you prepay, you get discounts. So you can get it down to $33 a box. Um, I don't know. I guess so. I mean, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's really beautifully packaged and some interesting things in it, I think. Yeah. To me, you can't eat the packaging. No, you can't eat the packaging, right? but I do like, like the packaging. I love this little book and everything, you know? So I'm really excited about the Paris one. We went to Paris on our honeymoon, so I have fond memories of Paris. So this looks good. Oh, that's right. This is the, the, the caramels. Right. Okay, the caramels so, were amazingly great. Okay, so we got a, a small thing of caramels, which were super, super yummy. Those were great. Um, this big old thing of salt. This salt, by the way, is, um, it's, it's kind of moist. I'm sorry if you don't like that word. Um, <laughs> it's, but, so I've been cooking with it and I really oversalted the first couple of things that yeah, I made yeah. because it sticks together and so I was just using way too much. But it's, it's excellent salt. Um, it's mustard. nice big thick things. The mustard is good. It's a Dijon mustard, which I normally am not that big a fan of, but I do like whole grain mustards, and that one is not too Dijon-y. It's good. It's good. Especially, you know, I mean, if you're a mustard lover, this is great. All right, so three three great things so far. 
Um, this is a peach apricot jam or jelly or preserve or I don't know what the difference between those are. Um, this one I've been eating on toast and it's super yummy. You want to taste that? That's really good. That's good, right? It's even 60% fruits. It's from Corsica. Clementines. Clementines. Uh -huh. Okay. From Corsica. Oh, shortbread. Which is shortbread cookies. I gave shockingly them to June. Missing. I gave them to June. I haven't actually tried it yet. Super buttery and delicious. Well, I think every culture has the butter, sugar, flour recipe. Right. Right. Every country has donuts and every some country. sort of shortbread <laughs> cookie thing. <laughs> yeah, I think shortbread cookies are universal. And these little things, what are these? These are French fruit jellies. That one's apricot and this one is raspberry. It's like a soft gummy. It's good. It's, it's more of a compressed jelly than I would say like a gummy right. you know, yeah. thing. But yeah, they're tasty. I mean, this is a, uh, it doesn't taste too sugary. Yeah, they're good. So I mean, like out of this box, I'd say 90% of it is stuff that I really wouldn't have thought to get. But I think, you know, it, it's like how exotic is the box? Like that's why I'm paying for it is how exotic is it? And I think mm -hmm. that the salt, even just for being salt, is actually fairly exotic. It's a really interesting, yeah, kind of moist, you know, what was the problem with the word moist? People don't like Some that people word? don't like the word moist. Like Mary Joan can't handle it. And that seems to be a common thing. Like people don't like the word moist. Oh, this, um, this one actually came with a box of truffles as what? well. Hide These are truffles. cocoa truffles, fine champagne. But that's a lot of stuff for one box. I'm, you know. It's a lot of stuff. And they're, you know, good sized things. I mean, this is a full jar of mustard and a giant box of truffles. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think that's fine for the money. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. I'm normally not that into truffles. Mm -hmm. There's an interesting flavor. I don't know if that's the champagne. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah I love the Paris box. And, and I think the other thing is not only how exotic is it, but how long will it last? Mm, that's a good point, yeah. You know, and I like how they're, they kind of put in a few things that just kind of disappear immediately, like the short Right, bottom. the little snacks. But then there's some things that, and I mean, honestly, this is kind of great for marketing, is you want to be up in someone's cupboard. Because if you, like a lot right. of the snack boxes are, it's gone within mm -hmm. 24 hours. It's snacks and it right. just disappears. And then what do you have left to remind the person, hey, this cool thing, but like this and the salt and the mustard and stuff, like this will sit on your shelf. And right. A constant reminder. <laughs> I think this is a great spread of a bunch of different types of things. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with both boxes. I am super excited. I think yeah. it's, you know, a fun culinary adventure. Yeah. I, I love the packaging. I know, I'm a sucker for packaging. But I love the book that they give you with it, you know, because it just, it gives you recipes in here, things mm -hmm. to try, you know, that aren't in the box, but just, you know, a little, hey, this is how they do it in France. And, you know, some, some music and movies and... I don't know, I just think that it, a lot of thought and effort went into these boxes. You know, that's what I feel. You know, it's, it wasn't just thrown together. So yeah, I'm really excited about this box. I think this is super fun. You know, we, we review a lot of boxes and we continue on with almost none of them. Um, but I think that this one is maybe one that we can keep getting. Yeah, especially. So. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and especially if it's, if it's only at once every other month. Because I think, you know, oh, I got 30 bucks a month. But if you're like, oh, it's only every other month, oh, it's only fifteen dollars a month or something, well, yeah, it's not quite how it works. But right. you know, but you're not you're not constantly getting them, and so right. it kind of spreads it out. So it's more of a it's more of a surprise mm -hmm. than it is a oh my god, here's another box. I haven't finished the last box. Right, right, <laughs> right. That's a good point. And um, if you do want to sign up, I will have the links in the information bar below. There is a deal where if you use my link, you get fifteen dollars off your box. So that's great. This was a great exciting box. I'm glad that we signed up for this one. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!